Hello, and thanks for tuning in to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead, stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Come back, stay a while. If you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all. All right guys, so today, I guess my purse was on the floor. We are gonna be doing an updated what's in my bag. This bag is quite heavy today, y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all <laughs> without anything wasting. The bigger the bag, the more stuff you put in it. It's a given. I be trying to go real light, but it never works. So let's begin with what's in my bag. All right, so first off is this. Which is my AirPods. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. And I just have them flipped on its clasp because I don't wanna have to dig for them. These are the second ones that came out. Don't give me a line. I don't know. <laughs> the AirPods. All right, that is first. Next is my little lipstick container, lip gloss. When I went to Belize, I bought this. And it's just so cute to me. I love all the little colors. I want to go to Mexico and get one of those blankets like this. They had some when I was in Wisconsin Dells last month. No, what's this month? The beginning of the month I was in, <laughs> in Minnesota and I went to Wisconsin Dells. And I just didn't like the color pattern they had, so I didn't buy one. In here, I just have some glosses. I am a Cherry Pepsi fan, so of course when I saw the chapstick, I had to buy it. I have what I'm wearing today, this little duo, which is some NYX Raspberry Tart and MAC. I want to say this is Miley Cyrus. Yeah, Miley Cyrus. So you guys, if you are a MAC girl, you know Miley Cyrus came out a long time ago. <laughs> but I still got it because I don't wear this color often. Anywho, some Vaseline, some bubble gum some more Mac and some Burt Bees. So that is that. I could have saved y'all that. <laughs> All right, we got that back in there. Okay, next, which should have been right here, is right here on either side is where I keep my car keys. So they are down in here. So my car keys. I normally just have them. Mm, nose itching. I normally have them in here. And what I keep in here with my car keys is my gas cards from Speedway. I just keep them in here. Normally my phone, which I can show y'all what my phone will be at. Because it's a little pocket in here that my phone will be sticking in. Because nothing is in that pocket. So normally my phone is sticking in that pocket. So I really can just look in my purse for majority of the stuff that I need right away and find it. So these are normally, I just got back not too long ago. So that's why I was just throwing around. But normally my house keys are like this on my purse. And it just sits like that. And on here, I got this from Wish. It just comes with the little handle, the little ball, this little pearl thing. And then I ordered this off Amazon. And it just has my pills in it because I have to take iron pills every day and another pill. Call in zest, but I don't take every day. Couldn't do that every day. Next <laughs> is a little journal. Um, I found this at the Dollar Tree. And seeing that I have been trying to get myself together spiritually, and just well, i'm not gonna say trying to get myself together spiritually i feel like i have myself together spiritually but i am trying to strengthen my spirituality i bought this notebook which says kind words are like honey proverbs 16 14 and as you can see i've kind of like put stickers in it this is for me to write down biblical scriptures when i'm having my bible study um things like that trying to find a page like i wrote in it and i put little stickers and it has little uh scriptures in which you can read 
So you got Esther 4, 14, Proverbs 16, 24, John 20, 27. As you go through, it's different. Next, I have my Louis Vuitton agenda. And I just have some little stickers in it. And yes, I do use this agenda. So I'm trying to show some stuff. Just so you can see it's writing, I do use the agenda. Can y'all see the person? Okay, cool. So we're going to clear out this pocket. Fans. Because I can't stand to be hot. And people always laugh at me when I pull these fans out like, she just pull out a church fan? Yes, your girl did because I ain't about to be sweating. It's hot. <laughs> and I'm kind of fat. So, you know, I can't get too high or I don't like to sweat. And then I have some snacks because, you know, berries and cherry fruit snacks. I don't know why I have three. And then next, I'm just going to take out everything. Some hand sanitizer, my pill box. Uh, can't go without this. Seal Mac lip glass, some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I think almost every woman that I know has some type of Bath and Body Works in their purse, whether it's lotion, spray, or hand sanitizer. These just looks like this in the house and pills. All right, so I'm going to zip that up because we're done with that. Next, I have my Never Full pouch. And in this pouch, I just have some coupons. I'm always doing different things with my pouches. I have some cash envelopes, some grocery store coupons. And over here, some receipts, some more coupons. <laughs> coupons and receipts. All right, let's take that back. In the next pocket, I just have some pens, some hand sanitizer, some lotion, some Kleenex. Of course, my phone is recording, but my phone will be in there. Another ink pen. I love RSVP pens, toe pens, or tool, have you pronounce it, I don't know. And just little girly girl pens like these. I ordered these off which a long time ago in different colors yellow clear and this rose gold and i don't remember where i got this one from probably like michael's or somewhere this was from the dollar tree okay next i have this little uh louis vuitton dupe pochette bag that i ordered off amazon a few years ago and in it i have some scissors some deodorant some mint floss a nail file a little first aid kit with like some pain pills and stuff in it um some denture tablets for three minute cleansing yes i had some partials is what you call it i don't know they got like two teeth but they like on a denture thing so you <laughs> have to soak it like and I have some tweezers. Um, one is like pointy, one is flat. It's the three different tweezers. And then I have some bridge floss. Because I got bridges at the top. Um, fixing your teeth ain't cheap. Anywho, I did record the process. So if y'all interested in seeing that video, let me know and I'll upload it. Because I've had it in my phone for months now. And I was just like... I don't think nobody want to see me get my teeth fixed, so I never uploaded it. Then I have some Chanel brow powder. As you guys know, I keep my brow powder in my purse. Some blotting papers. Let me put that back. Mm, excuse me. Excuse me. Did y'all hear me belch? I hope not. <laughs> So unladylike, even though it's natural. That's my kids like, mom, that's for boys. I be like, so belching is only something boys can do? Or is it how loud I belch? Like, if I belch really loud, they like, girls shouldn't belch like that. Or if I pass gas, they like, that's so nasty. I'm a human. I belch. I fart. I pass gas. Whatever you want to call it. Like, what you want me to do? Hold it in? 
Okay, anywho. <laughs> Next up, uh, what I see? These should not be in here. But I ordered these off Amazon because I have a lot of Louis Vuitton ribbon. And I've been seeing the ladies have like the Louis Vuitton ribbon hanging out their um, agendas. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make these up and I'm gonna sell them for like $5. I don't know. The ribbon was, well the ribbon wasn't free. I paid for it included with that purse or this purse and every other item I bought from Louis Vuitton. So I'm like $5 for a little paper clip and ribbon and I'm gonna even put an extra paper clip in the packaging maybe. I don't know. But I said I was gonna sell them. <laughs> Next, don't laugh at me, but binoculars. The reason I have these is because I love looking in the sky at night for planets, at the moon, at the stars, things of that nature. So I have these. So if I'm somewhere where it's really dark and the stars are shining really bright, I go ahead, pull up my app, see what's out, and I get to searching for it with my binoculars. And I think they're so cute. They're like a pearl and gold. And I've had these for like 10 years. So how much they cost on asking me? Next, I have, oh, I was supposed to go there today. My jury in here because I need to go get some stuff fixed. Hopefully the jury doctor can fix this bracelet. It's antique from 1910. Oh, I guess you can see that. And it broke. I don't know how, what I was doing to break it. But I'm hoping he can fix He can fix it. Next, I have another little bangle that I broke that I'm hoping he can mend back together. And then I broke my necklace. So I just got this fixed by him two days, like what's that? Last week. And it's broke again. Anywho. Next, I have some Chanel hand lotion. Um, I use it, it's almost out. Will I buy it again? Probably not. I might try the black one. My fiance hates when I put this on, the reason why I don't wear it often, because a lot of times I'm with him. And he's like, you got this stanky lotion on again. <laughs> and I'm just like, but it's so moisturizing on the way. And he's just like, no, it stinks. So when I'm with him, ooh, what is going on with my shirt? Okay, when I'm with him, I don't wear it. I have a old Louis Vuitton cigarette case. And in it, I just have some Tide to go wipes, some honey pot wipes, and some wet one wipes. All right, so next, oh, it's one random wipe. I'll put those in there later. Next, I have this eyeglass case. And no, this is not an authentic case. This is discontinued, but I wanted it. And I wanted it a long time ago. And when I saw it on a Instagram being sold, I was like, how much? Let me get that. Because I like this. So, yes, I have this. It is not authentic. But I will show you what it looks like compared to something that is. This is authentic, straight from Louis Vuitton, Saks Fifth. So, this just seems a little more textured than this. That's the only thing, the texture. It looks. This looks more textured than this to me. But from afar, who knows? No one's gonna know. You know how they do that little uh, TikTok? No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know unless you tell them. Which I didn't have to tell y'all, but I mean, I'm not a liar, so I told y'all. All right, what we got next? Next, I got my night glasses because I can't see at night. The signs are really blurry because I have stigmatism, so. It's my shade. Well, I almost said these are my shades, but these are my seeing glasses. Prescription is not really strong, but like I say, I need to see at night, so I have glasses. Next, I have a coin pouch. And I don't think I've ever said anything about this, but this is not authentic either. I'm always dropping something. So this is my change pouch. They discontinued the original one like this. All the ones you buy now have those little cartoons on them. I didn't like that, so I went for this one. I mean, I have authentic stuff though, so it, it doesn't matter to me. Oh, 
my throat was gonna dry y'all all right next is this emily wallet again this is not authentic either i pay like a hundred dollars for this by the time this get raggedy and don't work no more i'm not gonna care don't get me wrong if i would have bought this from louis vuitton the zipper break or anything like that i can take it in but guess what you're going to be almost at a hundred and some dollars for the repair for the reglazing and the zipper fix or the clasp or something like that so however the only difference between the authentic and this one when you buy damier or ben from louis vuitton the stitching is always a light brown if you have a damier ben piece i mean as far as the last five six years if i'm not mistaken if not longer I've never seen an authentic Damier Eben piece with dark brown stitching. If you can see here, the stitching is dark brown. We're going to take it back because this is old as dirt. I mean, this is old as dirt. That stitching is light brown. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else I can compare it to. Even on my purse, the stitching is light brown. My never full pouch. The stitching is light brown. So that's the only giveaway. Y'all wasn't tripping on that. This wallet cost me like $90. And $90 for this quality? Okay, well, the rest I'm at. Now I need to order another one. Because <laughs> I'm that type of person. If something's fake, I'm going to tell y'all. If it's real, I'm going to tell y'all. This is fake. My purse is real. My key pouch is real. My planner is real. This is fake. This is fake. This don't even have a name on it. It was just on Amazon, so I bought it. And the reason why I bought this was because I went on Louis Vuitton site because I was going to pay the 500 for this. And they didn't have it in stock. So I got on Amazon later that night, and I saw this. I'm like, okay, God, I see you trying to give me to save my coin. So I bought it. Anywho. That is all that I have in this bag, y'all. Oh, I lied. <laughs> some Dove hand sanitizer and some Bath & Body Works hand lotion. And a receipt from Jiffy Lou because I just went and got my son's oil changed earlier today. So that is the receipt. And I have a, what you call this thing? An organizer in here. So, I don't want to hear y'all come for me saying nothing about, oh, you shouldn't buy fake products or replicas or whatever. I buy what I want to buy with my money. You buy what you want to buy with yours. If I can find a replica item that I feel like passes to me as an authentic item, I'm buying that replica because that means that's a good replica. Sorry for you who don't like it. Now, if you want me to have a real one, buy it for me. Can I buy the real one? Yes, I can. Am I going to buy the real one? No, I'm not. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm not. So, anywho, if you stay for the duration of this video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in any of those pieces that are not authentic, hit me up uh, on Instagram. My Instagram information is posted down below and i will direct you to who you need to go to to get you one that's just how i feel about that because i feel like also it's a lot of people that be on youtube buying so many designer items but what they forget to tell y'all is a lot of those are a1 replicas they're not real but you're thinking oh my gosh you forward all these little time bags they're not always real everything you see ain't always what it is as for me, I'm going to tell you what it is and what it ain't. But anywho, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my content. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.